heroes never seem to die, they just fade away for a while, then come roaring back in a summer blockbuster. Now we have another one doing an encore, but not on the screen. As our Mike Watkins reports, this one has the real bad guys running for cover on the streets of Malibu. First, there was Superman. Then there was Batman. Then Dick Tracy. They all recently came back to life on the silver screen. But now one comic book superhero who battled his bad guys on TV has turned up fighting crime in real life. Now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. He was the suave, sophisticated newspaper editor Britt Reed by day. But by night, criminals cowered when the Green Hornet and his karate sidekick, Kato, came their way. It was hard. It was a very hard show. One of the things I liked about it was that we did a lot of stunts and stuff, and a lot of fight sequences in the second year. That, that was fun, but not wearing that outfit. But more than two decades later, the Green Hornet himself, actor Van Williams, has traded in his Hornet Green for the khaki uniform of a Malibu sheriff. Van Williams was already a veteran television actor when he took on the role of the comic book superstar, The Green Hornet. He teamed up with rookie Bruce Lee, and together they caught the toughest criminals of the surreal 60s. I've got no time for games, Trump. I want to know. But sadly, the show, which has a cult following to this very day, lasted only two seasons. Williams got bored with the world of make-believe and decided it was time to take off the green mask and put on a six-point badge. I'm a reserve deputy, and for years, uh, well, I've always worked patrol. I worked the beach patrol. Now, that's only a four-month segment during the summer. But just because this beach is Malibu doesn't mean it's all Bacardi's, bikinis, and blondes. We have totally lost the beaches out there, to the gangs and to the uh, people coming from Oxnard and that area would just come down, take over the beach and say, that's our beach. Nobody else was allowed on it. Well, we didn't want, it, want that to happen. As the Green Hornet, Van Williams was a vigilante whose real identity was known only to a select few. And now as a sheriff, he's trying to keep his identity as the former Green Hornet hush-hush. But at least one local resident does know his deep, dark, mysterious secret. We were friends from the Green Hornet, and he'd often stop by here at our place and uh, in the beach in his shorts uniform, his short sheriff uniform, or just, uh, I think, more of him as being a beach person than as being a, a Green Hornet person. <laughs> Former Green Hornet co-star and Malibu resident Wendy Wagner played Casey, the Green Hornet's gal Friday, back in those days when Van was setting female hearts fluttering. But now she's just one of more than 100,000 area residents who count on this dedicated patrolman to protect their lives, their liberty, and their property. When he's not patrolling the Pacific Coast Highway, Van escapes to his ranches in Hawaii and in Texas. But the lawman didn't pay for these spreads with the $1 a year he receives as a sheriff reserve or even the thousands he earned as the Green Hornet. For after abandoning his acting career, Williams plunged headlong into the space-age world of high-tech communication, a world he knew well because his old pal, the Green Hornet, used a variety of gadgets to outwit the crooks. But Williams can move easily from L.A. businessman to the comic books that inspired his own series. The guy that owns the guy, the now comics that's doing it, he asked me to write one. I just sat down and scribbled out a two-page deal and sent it back. They made a whole story out of it. They made a, two comic books out of it. They call it a mini-series. In fact, with the resurgence of big-time, big-budget superhero flicks, there's even talk of a Green Hornet movie. They wouldn't ask me in the first place. I'm too old. Uh, when I walked away from that show, I walked away completely. I wanted away from it. You know, I didn't want anything to do with it. Van may feel too old to act in cops and robbers flicks. However, his commanding officer thinks he's in his prime when it comes to grabbing real-life bad guys. He's an excellent reserve. Has always been. 
He's been a real credit to our department. It's almost as much action as he had every Friday night when all of America looked up to the mysterious, amazing Green Hornet. It seems you can take the man out of the show, but you can't take the superhero out of the man.